My, 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 Sharona. <laughs> Who's this person who is very defensive, right? Mm. The way I see this is you're partly defensive. They are even more. There's like this whole silent treatment, aggression, kind of passive aggressive uh, energy between the two of you. I feel like your issue with them is actually they don't take things serious. They, you know, for you, you look at them it's like, yeah, everything is just a game. Everything is a joke for them, and I'm here like trying, you know, to make this relationship work. Mm hmm. I see you here. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's a test of patience. Look at this. Nine of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles, right? You're being tested here. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see. We are on an eclipse watch. We are five days till the lunar eclipse. It's happening in Virgo. Okay. So we're going to do that prediction also. And people who has always, who likes the way my prediction, you know, um, I'm doing a free prediction for your sign, which is available in our app. So if you download our app, available in Apple and Android, you turn on the notification, I'll be sending out soon an exclusive, okay, for our users, for our app. We have more than hundreds of thousands who uses our app. So I feel like it's just, you know, it's just joy to have you guys there. So I'll be sending out that link soon, okay? So, and it's free, okay. So let's see now. With the Prince of Pentacles here and the Hierophant, yeah. So everything has been delayed in this relationship. So there's a lot of stalling. There's a lot of, like, it's not mind games, but it's more of, ah, that is, you know, we'll do it next time or this. They don't show importance to the relationship, you know. Your person takes it for granted and you have so much, you know, right now. I feel like the pressure is on, well, one, moon is in cancer right now. It's in your seventh house and this is five degrees. Um, what happens here is when moon is in the seventh, we may appear needy, dependent on other people. Um, it's very affectionate kind of, a, you know, um, house for the moon. But we don't want moon in the seventh because it is a Maraka house and moon is our... Uh, how to call this? Moon is also in charge of our health. So moon in the second and moon in the seventh is actually not ideal because it, it affects our longevity, because our mind, you know. Um, so here it is, you know, from your ascendant, you know, in your chart, it's in the where, you know, sun rises, I meaning here in the east, and then, of course, it's going to set. So it's losing strength there. And this is when it, you know, the plant loses strength, and, of course, you need support, you know, support of others, Right? The luminaries, you know, which is especially, especially, specifically the moon, needs someone to be there for them. Okay? It's a yin. Your person is in recluse. You're in a place with a magician here to make... A uh, magician is like, I'm going to take action and I'm do this, I'm going to do that. You know, you see this. Do that to me once. Uh. I used to sing a lot. You know, I, you know, remember when I used to sing a lot? Mm. Siyempre, pag Pilipino, karaoke ka talaga. Maski trabaho, di ba? <laughs> oh, wag na. Mm. Hihirit pa. Maganda boses ko. Magician over here. Mm. Look at that. Nothing is impossible, which, you know, that's true. I've always shared it with everyone here. Now, can I go a little bit off topic without people getting aggressive about the reading? When I say nothing is impossible... Let's not talk about how far it is, like, because it's very far years wise. Okay. When I was diagnosed with multi drug resistant tuberculosis, I've shared this a million times. And I was diagnosed with multi drug MDR tuberculosis, we call it. So, no cure. Okay. A rare, very rare. One in a 10 million, I believe. Um, they would try to give you a lot of antibiotics for it because, again, it's resistant to any antibiotics. So, there's no cure. Um, so, I was given two weeks. You know, my life story has a video, meaning in this channel, so that you guys know who I am. But let me just share this so that you get some hope, okay? 
Uh, so two weeks, coughing blood, drowning in blood, uh, fever, all these things. And, you know, I have to quit my job. You know, I don't know what to do. You know, I live by myself. Um, but uh, with the grace of God, of course, I have, you know, that's where my faith is ever since, you know. Well, I'm still alive. But two years, though. I was two years in isolation because it's airborne. And, you know, like, you know, CDC had to pick me up before this whole, like, you know, pandemic. I got a first chance experience with the CDC. You know, they, they picked me up with their uh, suit and stuff because, again, it's airborne. Mm. But it was an isolated case. It's very rare. So nothing is impossible because I'm a testament of I'm still living and breathing and grateful, right? So I need the Capricorn if you're having issues, especially like if you're a morning Capricorn, you're in Sadisati. You can, Capricorn. You can, you know, nothing is about magician. Use every tools that is given to you by God to manifest what is good for you. Because mm. I know you're struggling, magician, right? With the nine of ones. You're fighting for something. Let me see. And you're vulnerable, eight of swords. I feel, I feel for the Capricorn, of course. You have the two of pentacles here with the prince of pentacles. For, I feel like what you just want to hear from your person is like, I just want to hear them sorry, Sal. I just want to, I just don't want them to be dismissive of me. Page of Pentacles, with the Two of Pentacles. I just don't want to chase, Sal. You know, I feel like you're really concerned about the relationship, especially the lunar eclipse is going to have, uh, uh, it's going to affect the moon, which is ruler of your seventh house. So you feel that there is now separation, Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Wands, and you're trying your best, I feel like, to talk to them, okay, to convince them, or just to have this, uh, you know, like secure the connection. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. So this kind of relationship with the Four of Wands and then the Hierophant, uh, it's very special, yes. It could be you guys are married. You know, if you guys are married, of course, that's save the marriage, right? I mean, like, at all costs. I mean, I see a kid over here. Mm. And that's why I gave you the strongest of the strongest. What do I mean by that? Excuse me, your person is asking you to wait. Smoky quartz for you. If it's in front of the doorway of my house, right there, you can see it. Then that's how important it is for me, right? So this is the reason why I give it to you. That's how important Capricorns are to me. Then you got Citrine. You guys know me. I'm a Citrineaholic, okay? So this is your Zodiac Piao. We get thousands of orders every day, and I'm so grateful. I'm so happy on how much it's being received, you know? That's why I said I'm going to give you something special. Red Thread Real Gold Bracelet. It is known if it's gifted, it's stronger. So the goal for me here is for you to find a soul full connection because I have my soul full connection. It's amazing. So I want you to have that experience also. So this is this one. Mine is real gold also in red thread. And your home essential kit for the eclipse. These are my essentials. It is found the whole house. So that's free. And then your debt rituals. Uh, not debt rituals, Sal. Debt <laughs> removal pouch. Because some people get scared with the ritual. It's not a ritual. It's a debt removal. <laughs> Let's remove the ritual. You're going to get scared. Okay. I'll teach you how to use it though. <laughs> okay. So this is the kit. It's free shipping in the U.S. And we do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Don't worry about the time restraint because I know you're going to say, Sal, is it too late because it's a 24th? The solar eclipse is on the 8th, so you're fine. But the whole eclipse season is six months. I'll prepare it. You get it into your doorstep and it's ready to use. I got you. You know, I got you. Seven of Pentacles, wishy-washy, Prince of Cups. Your person is wishy-washy in and out of your life. And I feel like this is what you're arguing because there never seemed to be a time, okay, that, you know, your person is there with you at present. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And they're always combative, argumentative, five swords, you know, the immaturity, the full card, the not taking responsibility. It's like, well, that's your problem. That's not mine. You, you know, that kind. Um, well, that's you. That's not me. You know, like, are we a team or not? Right? Because this is what it's showing here. You're in a committed relationship with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands, and they act like they're not. You see, they do their own thing, you know. So I hope that you'll be able to find a resolution to this. But I need you to be careful because Mercury is about to go retrograde. It's in a debilitation sign, which is already we're tested with the communication. And then as soon as April 2nd hits, retrograde. The first retrograde of this year. 
is about to start during the eclipse season. So, but I'll talk more about it. That's why you download the app. It's available on Apple and Android. Make sure to get your Zodiac Piao, of course. And tomorrow, we'll touch base again. I'll see you.